6 o'clock tonight with Jamie Costello. I'm Kelly Swoop. A bail review hearing goes awry for a woman charged with setting a Jehovah Witness Hall on fire. And tonight as WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager tells us we are learning more about the suspect's behavior surrounding the act of arson. She had sat outside in the parking lot for an hour when police say 43 year old Heather Mazel got out of her car, walked up to the front door of the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses here in Glen Burnie, broke out the glass and tossed a Molotov cocktail inside before walking away. We can't speculate what's going through the individual's mind, uh, but we just want to make sure that everybody is fine. And uh, we're continuing to be a peace abiding, uh, family oriented congregation uh, that truly loves one another. Mazel refused to participate in her bail review hearing in Glen Burnie on Tuesday, but we are learning more about the background of the alleged arsonist. Police arrested her outside the home where she grew up here in Catonsville, and neighbors say she and her entire family were active in the Jehovah's Witnesses, dressing up and trying to spread their faith door to door until their hall, just two miles from their home on Power Lane, closed, making way for an Islamic mosque still active there today. Also, according to charging documents, she was carrying a black, very real-looking airsoft gun and a fixed blade knife on her at the time that police tried to arrest her, where when physically restraining her on the scene, she claimed she was royalty and could not be detained by law enforcement. A glance at Maisel's Facebook page suggests three days before the attempted arson fire, she posted she had started a new job as a minister with what she called the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testament in Heaven which is a reference to the book of Revelations in the Bible. On her initial appearance questionnaire following her arrest, she also listed her alias or maiden name as, quote, mission critical, raising questions over what the divorcee and mother to a 16-year-old son had hoped to achieve by targeting a place of worship with fire, knowing there were people inside at the time. Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.